Let's give it to see how far we can get. Yeah, let's do it. I'm Richard Dean. I'm the associate principal horn of the New York Philharmonic, and I'm back in Atlanta, which was my home for almost 30 years, with my good friend and pianist Tim Whitehead in beautiful, awesome Spivey Hall on the campus of Clayton State University. And we've just finished our uh, two sessions to record the E flat major alto horn sonata and the F major horn sonata of Paul Hindemith. Paul Hindemith is an incredibly under performed composer. His repertoire for the symphony orchestra is somewhat small, but there are at least 10 pieces that are worthy of performance. I've been playing in a professional symphony orchestra for 31 years, and if you take out the album that Yoa Levy and the Atlanta Symphony made in 1989, I've played exactly two pieces of, of Hindemith in 31 years, which I think is a travesty, especially given that Matisse Termaler is a masterwork. Hindemith has a very, um, a very unique harmonic language that uh, is just fascinating and really interesting. I, I remember the first time I heard this piece, I knew, without really knowing much about it, that it was one of the greatest horn pieces ever written. It's also very interesting that the horn sonata has only been recorded a few times and commercially released. When you compare it to like Villanelle or the Beethoven sonata or something like that, there's very few recordings out there. Of course, one of my mentors, John Cimarnaro, has one of the best ones. And of the alto horn sonata, of course, Mason Jones sort of set the bar with his recording from the late 60s, early 70s with uh, the Philadelphia Orchestra and Brass and Glenn Gould and uh, only a couple of recordings have been made and commercially released since then. So we're hoping this is a nice addition to the discography. I'm Tim Whitehead, and I am the producer of this recording of the Hindemith Horn Sonatas. I'm also playing piano on the record. To really capture the smoothness and warmth of Richard's horn sound, I chose to use primarily ribbon microphones. Um, for the main pair, I decided to use an AEA R88 stereo ribbon mic, and I used its little sister microphone as a spot mic on Richard's horn. Uh, the R84. Also on that same stand, I put up a Gefell M930 just to capture a little bit more high-end detail. On the piano, Hamburg Steinway, I used a pair of Earthworks TC30s. And just to capture a little bit more of the beautiful ambiance of Spivey Hall, uh, I chose to use an omnidirectional pair of Mojave Audio MA101 FETs. For preamps, I chose uh, the Fred Forstel designed AEA TRP for the R88, and the rest of the microphones I sent through the Swedish made Line Audio 8MP microphone preamp. And um, all the conversion and recording was done in an RME UFX and standalone mode.
I played a, a Lawson double from 1985 until 2010. That's 25 years in the Atlanta Symphony, and um, supplemented sometimes with the Lawson desk amp, B flat high F. Uh, and those were my two instruments. Um, you know, I'd play the desk amp on pieces like Rite of Spring or Copland Three, or you know, and if I ever got to play a Baroque or a classical piece that was really high, of course I would play the desk amp. And then when I joined the Philharmonic, I bought an Engelbert Schmidt triple with a high F side rather than the E flat. Side. So it's a full, full high F triple, and it has been, once I figured out how to play it, which was quite a journey, to be quite honest, I, when I got the instrument, I thought that I was going to have to write the Philharmonic and tell them I wasn't going to come, because the learning curve on this triple is steep, and you have to really claw your way through and really want to play. But once you figure out how your body relates to this particular instrument and the way it blows, it, um, it, it is a really, really fine instrument. Um, kind, of, kind of geared towards the high horns. The B-flat horn is superb. The high F horn is maybe the best one being made right now. And I'm playing on a, um, a Hauser mouthpiece. Uh, it's a four-bore Landsman cup. And I've got, uh, it's fitted with Lawson threads, so I've got my um, I've gotten the, uh, the rim that I've used for the last 30 years on here. Um, so I love this instrument. Again, it's a Engelbert Schmidt triple. Um, it's about three years old, maybe two and a half years old. And uh, I don't see myself ever playing another instrument.